Hello and welcome to 20th session of ASME B31.3 course. This is Ali and I hope you are doing well. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the pressure design of flanges and blanks. Flanges are used to connect piping system to nozzles to provide means for maintenance. Flanges also are used to connect pipes to flange type components such as flanged valves. The purpose of using blank is to provide the means to block off the flow of liquid through a piping system. Let's start or talk referring to paragraph 304.5.1 of ASME B31.3 Flanges General. A. Flanges not in accordance with paragraph 303 or 304.5.1b or d shall be qualified as required by paragraph 304.7.2. I'm going to explain this clause. It says that if a flange is in accordance with paragraph 303 or 304.5.1b or d, there is no need to check the requirement of paragraph 304.7.2 Let's review paragraph 303 General Components manufactured in accordance with a standard listed in table 326.1 shall be considered suitable for use at pressure temperature ratings in accordance with paragraph 302.2.1 or paragraph 302.2.2 as applicable. It means that ASME B31.3 except pressure temperature ratings calculations contained in a standard listed in table 326.1 for piping components. Therefore, for pressure design of piping components, we refer to the standard specified in that table. Now, let's see which standard is specified in table 326. Point one for flanges. You can see that for pipe flanges and flanged fittings, ASME B16.5 is specified. To proceed, it's beneficial to have a look at ASME B16.5 that covers MPS or nominal pipe size 1 half through MPS 24. Based on clause A of paragraph 1.1, general of ASME B16.5 A. This standard covers pressure temperature ratings, materials, dimensions, tolerances, marking, testing, and methods for designating opening for pipe flanges and flanged fittings. Included are 1. Flanges with rating class designations 150 300, 400, 600, 900, and 1500 in sizes MPS 1 half through MPS 24 and flanges with rating class designation 2500 in sizes MPS half through MPS 12 with requirements given in both metric and US. Customary units with diameter of bolts and flange bolt holes express in inch units. ASME B16.5 includes following types of flange. Threaded, socket welding, slip on welding, lap joint, welding neck, and blind. When the connection type of piping components is threaded and socket welding, Threaded flange and socket welding flange will be used respectively. When the connection type is butt welding, a slip on flange and welding neck flange could be used. However, there are some restrictions about using a slip on flange specified in paragraph 308.2.1 of ASME B31.3 because it's weaker than welding neck which becomes clear when you compare its dimension to that of welding neck. 
The strongest flank type is welding neck which is used more than other types, specifically in process plants. Lapped flanges are also used in butt welding connection, but in mostly in special circumstances to save cost. One of the benefits of alloy steel and stainless steel is their resistance against corrosion. It means that we use such material in our piping system to maintain the purity of service while it doesn't sustain high pressure and temperature. In that case, we don't have to use welding neck flange with expensive material. Instead, it's preferred to use lapped flange manufactured with lower price materials such as carbon steel in combination with a stubborn manufactured from material with corrosion resistant properties. A stubborn is a fitting type and you can find its dimensions in table 9 of ASME B16.9, a slip-on flange could be used as lapped flanges if the requirements of table 308.2.1 are met. We can use a slip-on up to MPS equals 12 for rating class 150 and up to MPS equals 8 for rating class 300. Blind flange is the last type of flange specified in B16.5. This flange is used as a closure. When welded cap is used in the pipe, we couldn't have access to the internal sections for cleaning purposes. For extending piping system, we should cut the cap. In these cases, blind flange is used. This type of flange is also used during hydro test to close testing packages. They can also be used to seal a nozzle, manhole, of pressure vessels. Till now, we have covered different types of flanges. Each type could be manufactured with three different faces. One, flat face. Two, raised face. Three, ring type joint. You can find dimension of those faces in figure six and flange facings and their relationship to flange thickness and center to end and end to end dimensions of ASME B16.5. These are general information about flange. So we can start the pressure design process. We can imagine how much more difficult it could be if we have to determine and calculate the dimension and thickness of each flange type. Using the code and referring to the specified standard will facilitate the pressure design of the flange. By pressure design, I mean determining the class rating of flange. You know that the mechanical properties of each material differs from another. So, B16.5 categorizes materials into different groups based on their mechanical properties and then specified pressure temperature ratings for each group of materials. In each material group, all types of flanges could be manufactured by forging and casting methods. In addition to the mentioned manufacturing methods, blind flange could be made from a plate. For example, some carbon steels categorized in material group 1.1 if flange material is one of the materials categorized in this group, we should refer to the table 2, 1.1 to determine the rating of flange at the specific design condition. For example, flange with material ASTM A105 belongs to material group 1.1 that is manufactured by forging methods containing only carbon and silicon in its chemical composition. This table provides good information about equivalent material. For example, the name of casting and plate form of this material with this chemical composition are ASTM A216 grade WCB and A515 grade 70 respectively. Please note that flanges are most likely manufactured by forging method. Let's have a look at table 2, 1.1. Pressure temperature ratings for group 1.1 materials. 
At the top of section of this table, you can see materials classified as group 1.1. In this row, you can find classes of flange 150, 300, 400, 600, 900, 1500, and 2500. Please note that these numbers are dimensionless and are used for designation of pressure temperature ratings of flanges. In other words, the class of a flange doesn't give us information about the pressure and temperature that could be sustained. Now about the concept of flange class. Based on paragraph 2.1, general of ASME B16.5. Pressure temperature ratings are maximum allowable working gauge pressure in bar unit at temperature in degrees Celsius, shown in table 21.1 through 23.19 for the applicable material and class designation. It says that each class covers a range of pressure per temperature. For example, Flange with class 150 of material group 1.1 could sustain 19.6 bar gauge at temperature 38 degrees Celsius, while this flange could sustain 13.8 bar gauge at temperature 200 degrees Celsius. You can see that by increasing temperature, the capability of flange to sustain pressure will decrease. Compared to class 150, class 300 could sustain higher pressure at the same temperature. For example, in material group 1.1, class 300 could sustain 51.1 and 43.8 bar gauge at temperature 38 degrees Celsius and 200 degrees Celsius respectively. Please note that class 400 is not common and if the calculation of flange class led to it, we will select class 600. In next episode, with an example, we will select the class of flange. If the size of flange is greater than 24, based on table 326.1 of ASME B31.3, we should refer to ASME B16.47 large diameter steel flanges NPS 26 through NPS 60. Let's go back to paragraph 304.5.1 of ASME B31.3. Two options are specified as an alternative for pressure design of flange instead of using listed components based on 304.5.1b. Flange may be designed in accordance with ASME Boiler and Pressure Vessel Code Section 8, Division 1, Mandatory Appendix 2, or ASME Boiler and Pressure Vessel Code Section 8, Division 2, 4.16, using the allowable stresses and temperature limits of this code based on 304.5.1d for flanges that make solid contact outside the bolts. ASME Boiler Pressure Vessel Code Section 8 Division 1 Appendix Y should be used. Looking at the altered references for pressure design of flange reveals that it could be complicated with responsibility if we don't refer to the listed component specified in Table 326.1. In the same way for pressure design of blanks, we should refer to ASME B16.48 as a standard for steel line blanks based on table 326.1. Based on paragraph 1.2, definitions of ASME B16.48. Figure 8 blank. A figure 8 blank, also called a spectacle blank, is a pressure retaining plate with one solid end and one open end connected with a web or tie bar. See figure 1. Paddle blank. A paddle blank is a similar to the solid end of figure 8 blank. It has a plain radial handle. It's generally used in conjunction with a paddle spacer in large sizes. Paddle spacer. A paddle spacer is similar to the open end of a figure 8 blank. 
It has a plain radial handle. It's generally used in conjunction with a pedal blank. Based on paragraph 2, pressure temperature ratings of ASME B16.48, pressure classes, line blanks covered by this standard are for the following pressure classes, 150, 300, 600, 900, 1500, and 2500 as listed in ASME B16.5. Pressure temperature ratings. Ratings. Ratings are the maximum allover working gauge pressure at the temperature shown in Table 2 and F2 of ASME B16.5 for the appropriate material and pressure class. Therefore, the class of blank is the same as flange and for dimension we should refer to related tables based on class and type of blank. In the next episode, using a real example, we will specify the class of flange and blank. Thanks for being with us.